Hey, thanks for checking out my video. This is my first try at a tutorial video, and it's filled with mistakes, so please bear with me. The first thing is this card should have a pink base, but that portion of the video got lost. So here I am showing you what I did using white card stock, which it requires white card stock as well. And in a little while, I'm going to switch to the pink base. But for now, I took one standard piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock and I cut it in half. I'm going to take another piece, or one of those two pieces, and turn it and cut that in half as well. Those two get used in, in uh, the finished product. So then the long piece will get scored in the middle, and this will be the base of the card, which should be pink, <laughs> and it will be here in a minute. I'm just using the Martha Stewart score board, and I'm going to burnish this edge so that I get a nice crisp fold. Now I'm going to use my paper trimmer again, and the piece that's going to go on the inside, I'm going to trim it down just a little bit so that I get a little edge, a little border around it. So I'm going to take um, a quarter inch off of two sides, and that way I get a, an eighth of an inch of a border around it. This is going to be a standard A2 card. So it will be four and a quarter by five and a half whenever I'm done with it. Um, so this is the piece that goes on the inside where I'm going to stamp my sentiment. And like I said, I took a quarter inch off of two sides, so that gives you a one eighth inch little border around it. Here I'm going to show you how that looks. It's just a little bit of a pink edge. Now this is my cuddle bug, and we're going to work on the front pieces of the card. I'm going to use the same cut and emboss folder for one of the white pieces, the larger of the two white pieces and the front of the pink card base. They're going to be um, the same, and they're going to be layered one on top of the other. So this is going to be a shaker card. Everything that I'm using, I will have linked in the description box below the video, so if you're interested in using one of these um, cut and emboss folders, you'll be able to go check it out for yourself. I just love them. I just think they're beautiful. And I'm going to save the little hearts that pop out of it. There's a large heart and several little small ones. And I'm going to set the little small ones aside, and I'm going to use them in this project in a little bit. You'll see. So that was the white one that's going to go on the outside. And this is the front of the card. Whenever you fold the card base, this will be the front. And I, it does the exact same thing, and I'm going to save this, the little pink parts that pop out of that one as well. Here's what it's going to look like whenever I layer the white one on top of the pink one. And I'm in this project, you're going to see me using pink ribbon, because that was originally what I intended to use. Later, I decide I don't like the pink ribbon, 
and it ends up being white. But here's, you know, how I did it in the white as, you know, the same procedure. I took about a six inch piece of pink ribbon and I glued it on. I'm using art glitter glue. I really like it. I'm really messy. You'll see me wiping my fingers a lot. I can't seem to manage to put glue on anything without getting it all over me. And this is about a 14 inch piece of ribbon, way longer than it needs to be, but I don't have the best dexterity anymore because I'm getting uh, some arthritis in my fingers. So in order for me to tie this little bow, I need a really long piece of ribbon and it takes a lot of fiddling with. I'm just gonna keep messing with it until I get a cute little bow and set that aside for now. And then I'm gonna take this really sticky double stick tape. It's got a very strong bond. This red line tape does and I'm going to put this around the inside edge of the heart. This is on the back of the piece that's going to go on the front and I'm going to go as close as I can around the edge of that heart because this is where we're going to make our little shaker card and instead of using acetate and having to build it up and make it really thick we're going to use some tool and so it's going to be relatively flat and it's going to fit in an envelope really nicely and it's still going to be really pretty. That, that's an eighth of an inch. See how sticky I like to never got it off my finger. Okay, there we go. And I'm using a glitter tool and I have a three inch spool of it there. But I couldn't find that online for you guys. I found a six inch. Um, so I'm showing you right there. I had about a, a six inch piece by three inch. My spool is three inches wide. I'm going to take one half of it and lay it on top of that sticky tape and press it down really well. And then here's where I'm going to take those little pink and white hearts that I cut out. And they're going to go right inside there. And then I'm going to add this gorgeous glitter that came from Stampin' Up. It's an iridescent, well, it's not glitter, excuse me, sequins. Look how pretty. Isn't that the cute little spoon? I got that from the uh, 99 cent only store. They come in a whole package full of these little tiny spoons. Mm. Then I'm going to take the other half of the tool and fold it up over there and I'm going to press it down really good and it sticks right through there. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim off the excess tool that's around the top and the bottom. Make sure it's on there really tight before I start shaking on it. Now I'm going to try to shake it up so I can mix the sequins in with the little hearts. Okay. And add some art glitter glue to the back of this so I can glue it onto the pink card base. It looks like I used a whole lot of glue, but I didn't. That fine metal tip on top. You just put out just a little bit and go with those fingers. I'm sorry I'm off camera. This is new for me. And so, like I said, there's a lot of mistakes. All right, now we have the white piece glued on to the pink base, and we've got our shaker portion done. And 
two on the little bow, which will, like I said, eventually I decide that I think these pinks clash, and I don't think it looks very nice, so I cut, or I, I pulled the bow back off, and then I cut the pink ribbon really, really close to the edge and pulled it up carefully, and I did another uh, cut and emboss of a white panel and used white ribbon and just glued it over the top of my mistake. And nobody will ever know the difference, except I just told you, so now you know. Now I'm going to glue the inside panel. Oh, no I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I want to make sure that whenever I stamp my sentiment on the inside that it's not showing through the little hearts or the big hearts. So I'm just taking a pencil and putting little tick marks inside the big heart and in those little hearts so I can put my sentiment where it's kind of hidden. I'm using my Misty so that if it doesn't stamp well the first time, I can re-stamp it. And I'm using this Sizzix um, stamp. It says congratulations. It's a Lori Whitlock stamp and it fits just perfect in between my little marks. And I'm going to be using the Memento Angel Pink Teardrop inks today. And I end up stamping this three times. I'm going to clean my stamp using this Brutus Monroe Squeaky Clean. It does a great job. I just need a little bit. And then I'm using a Norwex cloth. This is the Enviro cloth. And it's lint free. I love this cloth. I, ha I It's just a big mess. Look at all those stains. But I keep it in my craft room and I just love it. Now I'm going to try to erase the little tick marks that I made, but I'm really heavy handed and I had a really difficult time getting my pencil marks back off. Dark glitter glue again. I love this glue. It, uh, it doesn't take very much. It grabs on and, and holds really quickly, but you do have a little wiggle room to move things around. And then it dries really fast. And it dries clear, so if you get a little bit on the outside, which I almost always do because I'm really messy with wet glue. It doesn't show. It, it's a really bright glue. And there's a link where you can get some in the description box below this video if you're interested.
Yeah, it's a little bling. And I had several things picked out to choose from. The clear rhinestones, the white pearls. I decided to go with these baby pink little rhinestones and they're self-adhesive. I'm just going to place them around kind of randomly. We're almost done. This was so easy to make. The uh, cut and emboss folder is just, I think, a really fun way to make a, a really pretty card that looks like you really, you know, did something dynamic here, but it just makes it so easy. One last thing, I want to put It's a Girl on the outside of the card. I'm using an Anna Griffin um, die here. I'm going to cut it out of the pink. I've already done it. I had already cut it out in white three times, and I've already glued those together. I did them the same way I'm doing this right here. And I, I like to make sure that I've got multiple layers so that it's really sturdy and and holds up well whenever I'm making a little embellishment. So I'm, I'm just using a little pick to work it out of the die. I could not find the Anna Griffin um, die for you, but I did find one by another company that's very similar that you can use in its place if you're wanting this, you know, the same kind of look. I believe I got these dies off of HSN and it was one of those uh, bundle deals where they keep sending you stuff all year long. So it may not have ever been available just to purchase any other way. Yeah, it can glue all over the place. And like I said, the it's a girl in white. There's that's three layers of regular cardstock. And then I'm gonna put the pink on top. Make sure everything's all lined up nice. And see where I need to put the glue because I don't want to put the glue over the tool just on the edges where it's going to stick to the card so I'm going to put a little bit up at the top and on two edges down at the bottom There it is. Here's the go. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that I get better at this because this was really hard for me. Uh, I'm extremely shy. <laughs> so I, uh, I hope that you will, will give me another chance. And if you like this video, that you'll hit the like button and you'll subscribe to my channel. And I'm hoping that if I get enough uh, viewers that maybe we can have some contests. So I'll catch you next time. Bye.